mystery tackle box. 2.5 skinny bear crank. Suspending crankbait. Tubes. Big black baits. B8 Lab. Ultimate Strike Minnow. Daichi. Fat Gap Worm and Tube Hooks. There's some bluegill right there. Let's see what we can do. Mr. Tackle Box. Two rod, a weight bait. Um, got a jig pad on just in case I can't catch them on the mystery tackle box stuff. First cast of MTB Slim. Right now. Okay, re-rigged and back out again. Little bass just blew up right there. I see him swimming away. Probably like five inches long. Um, like I said, throwing the Daiichi hook. Um, there's some little bass, little school of bass. Throwing the Daiichi hook and the big bite baits tube. We got a good sized bass right here in front of me. Well, I missed him. Got him. Stuck him. He creamed it. Fish number one, MTV Slam, Deechee Hook, Ghost Tube. It's a really good combination. Um, there's some more bass right here, so I'm just going to cast out, see if I can't get them to take it. Okay, guys, so this is attempt number two at the MTV Slam. Uh, left the box at home, but I still have the baits. So, since I only caught one fish yesterday, I'm going to try and catch the crankbait fish and the swimbait fish and if I have time I'll go back and try the Daiichi hooks in the tube again um, other than that there's not much more let's go fishing okay of course you know I turned off the GoPro and didn't have it on my head but I just caught a little guy but he'll start the tournament we're having a tournament of who can catch the most fish over 12 inches and That'll be my first one, so let's get back at it. I'll put in the new battery so I can actually record next time. Mono. Now it is. Okay, second keeper for me, that's definitely 12. Colton's is not 12. So let me measure out. Hannah got 
a seaweed monster. Oh yeah, look at that. 14 and a half, almost 15. Look at the gut on that sucker. See if the camera can see that. Big old sucker. There's her keeper. You good? Oh, he ain't 12. He might be. I don't know. He's about the same size. Okay. Anyways, 13 inch right there. Her first keeper. And Colton's probably first keeper. So, I think we're all at one right now. We all have one 12 inch keeper. So, I'm, I'm throwing a deep crank. She was throwing a Cinco right here on this little flat. And he, he was throwing a square belt on this little flat. I don't really think they're out deep, so I think I'm going to tie, tie on a bluegill square bill and get to work. My battery's about to die, so that's why I'm not recording all this, but I just caught another little guy. First cast on this uh, bluegill colored square bill right here. And uh, so, I'm going to get back to it. My camera was off, and 10 seconds after that, she hooks up with this crappie in the middle of nowhere on a square bill. I'm... I'm going to put this little swim bait on, this little screw lock weighted hook, and see if I can't hook into something. Did he really? Yeah. Handle's like, okay, we're staying out here now. That crappies, so, that was the crappies entire plan. Five times we've caught, we came out here and we caught crappie out here. Well that sounds awful. Normally it doesn't sound that bad. Guess I need to clean it. Yeah, like as soon as you turned on that trailer butter, she hooked him. Let me throw it over the middle, make it worse. You feel it? Is he on there? I'm probably going to end up scrapping the intro I just filmed, so what we're doing, we're doing a 20 minute fishing challenge. And uh, you, have to, you have to spin a roulette wheel to figure out what bait you use. And I got stuck with a frog and he gets to use a square bill. He's already lost one, and he's probably going to catch one before our 20 minutes is up. A frog is like the last resort in the wind for me. Even though this, even though this lake, we have caught them on frogs, normally not in the wind. Normally in the heat of summer when there's no wind. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to do something with my life. Or at least with this frog. Oh, you see him? He crushed it. God. <laughs> nah. uh. Oh my God. <laughs> they might be stacked in here because this wind pushing all those bait fish in here. I missed one on a frog. That's awesome. Come on. And he came up and slapped it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> missed. Oh my gosh! He hit it three times. No. What is happening? What am I doing with my life right now? Oh my gosh, you see that? Oh my gosh! Right here. No. That sucked. I've got the frog three times. 
I've got the frog three times in the loop once. Let's see what I get here. Floating worm. There's one. There's I'm just kidding. I don't have a bite. I don't know though because I'm trying to freak it. Yeah, I do. I was trying to freaking do this and then I picked up and it was heavy. I was like, okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my outro because it's not looking good. Um,. Colton wins with three three rounds to zero, and I just, I guess I suck, and I suck at gambling, so I'm never gambling in my life, um, so I'm just gonna tie on a frog, I'm gonna end the video here, thanks for watching another episode of Jake Cook Fishing, don't forget to like and subscribe.